Hi there, I'm Hermano and welcome to the channel. There are several ways to access your G Suite mail contacts and calendar. On a mobile device, it depends on the operating system you're using. If you're using Android, your best bet is to use the Google Apps and the same goes for iOS, where you have apps for Gmail and Google Calendar. However, if for some reason you don't want to use the apps that Google provides, you can configure your G Suite account to sync as an Exchange account using the ActiveSync protocol. Let's see how it's done. First, you'll have to make sure that G Sync is active in the admin console. So I'm just going to switch over to the admin console here. And I'm going to search for G Sync. And from here, I'm going to select Google Sync setup. Might take a moment to load. So there you go. You want to make sure Google Sync locally applied a low work data to sync via ActiveSync is active. By default, it should be. If not, you can just check this box. Once this is done, let's see how to configure the GC account as an Exchange account on your iPhone. Before we can proceed to configure the Exchange account on an iPhone, we need to set up an app password if you have two-factor authentication enabled. So I'll go to my Google account here and click on security. And where it says app password, to confirm my identity. And here I will select the app. Well, in this case, I'm just gonna choose other and put iPhone here so that I know that this password belongs to my iPhone actually. And I'm gonna click on generate. And this is the password I will have to enter on my iPhone in order to access my G Suite account. So let's switch to the iPhone and see how it's done. So I'm on my iPhone now. I'm gonna tip on settings. Scroll down to passwords and accounts. Tip on add account and tip on Microsoft Exchange. Now I'm gonna enter my email address. And as a description, I'm gonna write in G Suite and tip on next. In this dialog box, I need to tip on configure manually. And now I will enter the app password I created before and then tip next. Now in this dialog box here as a server, I'm going to enter m.google.com. And as a username, it's the email address. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here and then tip next. So once it's done, I can select what I want to sync. So I just need mail, contacts, and calendar. I'll deactivate reminders. If you have multiple calendars on your G Suite account, there is one extra step you need to take. And you have to do this on your mobile device. So you open up Safari or the web browser and go to m.google.com slash sync slash settings. Once you're there, you see all the calendars available in your G Suite account and you can select the one you want. This calendar will appear in the Apple Calendar app. So this is basically how you can configure a G Suite account as an Exchange account. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tip and if you want to see more, make sure you like this video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there is anything specific you want me to cover in G Suite or Office 365, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.